For this example, we are going to find one-sided limits of the following function. In part A and part B, we have the same function, like x plus 3 over x, x plus 3 over x. We look at the point 0 coming from the left side, coming from the right side. So we're going to look at the graph of that function and choose the graph to determine the one-sided limit. I'm going to go to this mass.com and then type in the function um, y equals the quantity x plus 3 parentheses divided by x. And we get the graph. Let me move the graph over a little bit. As you see, the graph looks like uh, the reciprocal graph. One side going down and the other side going up. We're going to get a quick suggest here. And x is 0 is the undefined point. That tells us it's going to be the vertical asymptote at x equals 0. One going down and the other one going up like this. So when we look at the one side limit as x approaches 0 from the left, the graph going down to the negative infinity. When x approaching 0 from the right, the graph going up to positive infinity. Next, part C and D use the same function. Let me go back to this mask and plot another function graph. The y equals quantity x plus 3, x plus 5, sorry all divided by the quantity x minus 3. It's similar to the graph before. Sin x minus 3 is the denominator. We know that x equals 3 is the vertical asymptote. Can we end the graph here. 1, 2, 3, we have the vertical asymptote. And look at the graph one more time. Go down and then go up. Something like this, similar to the previous graph. Target on the value 3 here. As x approaches 3 from the left, the function approaching negative infinity. As x approaches 3 from the right, the function graph approaching positive infinity. For the last problem, limit of the function x minus 2 divided by x plus 4 as x approaches negative 2 from the right side or the right hand limit of this function, use this mask to plot the graph that we drew. And then when we look at the limit of the function at x approaches negative 2 from the right, negative 2 is right there from the right side. So the graph provides the coordinate or the value that we can see. So in this situation, at negative 2, the left hand limit and the right hand limit approach to the same value. And basically, we can compute directly. So negative 2 minus 2 divided by negative 2 plus 4. Or we get negative 4 divided by positive 2. That turns out to be negative 2. That's confirmed by the graph that we plot by this mass. So negative 2, negative 2 is coordinate on the graph. And it means the left-sided limit, the right side limit, approach to the same value or the same function value negative 2.